Oh, we're going. Okay, great. <laughs> um, I don't even... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel, Kaz here. Today, we're doing another snack crate video and uh this one is from korea i know this video is not sponsored wish it was hit me up snack crate anyways so this month it's korea so i'm actually really really excited and also before i start this video make sure to click that like button subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you know every time i post which is every wednesday every friday and every saturday for the sims okay let's go ahead and dig in Ooh. <laughs> All right, and they always have fun stuff on top. These snacks are expired, it says, but then it says, just kidding, they aren't. <laughs> Give me a heart attack. Wait, okay, for some reason they feel a need to make sure I know what expired food looks like. Okay, and there's also a game in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're not gonna do that though. We're just interested in the snacks. <laughs> All right, so this tells me everything that's in it, and we're just gonna go one by one and then read off of this. This month's crate is from South Korea. I am not going to read all that for you, but there are fun facts in here that I can throw in when I'm tasting the tasty treats. So let's go ahead and dive in. Oh, there's a little sticker. Good sticker. Okay. This is some serious foil. They don't want you to have the corn chips. <laughs> Thick. That's what she said. No, see, I need I need scissors for real. Like <laughs> so, so for real. Thank you. It smells good. It almost smells sweet. Mm. Alright, here we go. That literally that, that, okay, that threw me for it literally tastes like cream corn. I don't know if I like that or not. It's good at first, but then it's a weird aftertaste. I give that one out of five K pop stars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next let's do um a custard cream cake. And it says, custard cake, a light, sweet sponge cake filled with a rich, creamy custard. A popular Korean dessert snack that is good to eat any time of day. So, if it's three o'clock in the morning, no judgment here. That wasn't nearly as hard. It smells like a cake. I don't, my thing is, I don't think I'm gonna like the custard. I can tell you that right now. What, is, what flavor is the custard? No flavor, it's just called custard. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I'm nervous because I don't like custard. It's really dry. <laughs> <laughs> if you're from Korea, I am not like trying to be mean. I'm just honest. It tastes good. It's just really dry. But it's good. It's actually really good. I'll give that mm, three and a half K-pop stars. Okay, next, I guess we'll just do another dessert because it's right on top. It's the Choco Pie since 1974 with marshmallow filling. I don't like marshmallows. I know, unpopular opinion. I also don't believe that pineapple should be on pizza. Also another unpopular opinion, but it's my channel, so I'm allowed to have my opinions. <laughs> The Chaco Pie. These marshmallow pies are adored by all Koreans. They are regular, they are, wow, they are regularly, that's a hard word for me to say, smuggled, are they allowed to say that, <laughs> into North Korea where they are as good as cash. Bruh. I'm probably rich. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat this money. Man, they're packaging. We want you to work for it. 
smells like chocolate. I'm not too excited about the marshmallow, but that's okay. I'll have a s'more, but I can only have one, you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is basically the equivalent of a moon pie, right? Like here? Okay, let's do it. Mm-hmm, there's the marshmallow. Again, it's so dry. <laughs> and it could just because of the packaging. I need the chocolate out of my teeth. It's all right, dry, not my favorite. I'll give it two out of five kitty pop stars. Okay, and next, I have these things called butter waffles. Butter waffle. Everything you love about a waffle smothered in butter, but this version is made to take on the go. Try this crunchy snack for breakfast. I'm hoping this is good. Okay. Oh, much easier. That was the easiest one we've had so far. Ugh. That tasted weird. <laughs> Buttered waffles. They kind of smells all the same. You know what I mean? That has a hint of chocolate. Kind of smells like the cake. Here we go. I have a feeling it's going to be dry. Even though what I say, it's kind of just like meh, bland. It's not too dry though. I mean, it's good. I'll probably eat them, but it's not like whoa. So I'll give it one and a half out of five K-pop stars. It's hot. Okay, the next one I'm looking at it, and I'm actually really excited. They're my gummy grapes jelly stuff. I'm so excited. You see these on like ASMR and like on TikTok and all this stuff, and I'm really excited. I think they're like mini versions. It says, my gummy grape, sweet and authentic grape flavored gummies that will surely satisfy your sweet tooth. This is not your typical gummy treat. I'm excited. You better save one for me. <laughs> There's a whole bag of it. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna eat them all. Oh, I smell that from that here. That smells like grape and nail polish remover. I am not kidding. That's nail polish remover. Oh, it's not the jellies. It's just gummies. I'm so disappointed. But it literally smells like nail polish remover. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, well, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, tastes different. More grapey, that's a word. They're good, I like them. I would give this like a four out of five K-pop stars. Can I try it? Mm. Takes a minute for the flavor to hit, but then when it hits, you're like, hmm. You're really that's close, good. it's like ASMR. <laughs> is Peppero white chocolate. I like white chocolate. It's called Wine Friends. So it's basically like pokey. Peppero, Peppero? White cookie. Crunchy biscuit sticks dipped in creamy white chocolate and covered in small cookie crumbles. You can't get enough of this Korean classic. I think you're supposed to open it like that. Mm. <laughs> Piece of plastic with on my nose. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like anything. Ooh. Stick. I like pokey sticks. Mm -hmm. Might I say five out of five K-pop stars? I'm gonna go eat this whole bag. Bye. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, the next one I'm kind of confused by. I think it might be the equivalent of like a Rice Krispie treat. Okay, let's, let's read about it. A yagwa, yugwa, I'm really am butchering that, I'm sure it's Y-U-G-W-A. The most traditional Korean cookie made of honey, flour, and toasted rice. You are sure to find this snack during any holiday celebration in Korea. Well, it's like a Rice Krispie treat, but like it's loose. I don't know if that makes sense. On the outside, like it does, it's not as smothered with marshmallow. The only marshmallow I like, by the way, the Rice Krispie treats. Let's try it. 
I don't like the way that felt on my teeth. Your what? My teeth. Sorry, Korea. That's just not it. No, 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 no. Zero. Zero out of five K pop stars. The next one I'm really excited about. It's a cookie. <laughs> it's a chick chock cookie. It's a monster chick chock. Tiramisu is what it says on the back. Chick chock tiramisu. Soft and chewy coffee flavored cookie with chunks of chocolate chips and cream cheese. A sweet and decadent delicacy. Hmm, that sounds, it sounds good. It sounds good. Ooh. It smells like coffee. <laughs> that. And then it's like just pure chocolate on the back. Ooh. Okay. It's really coffee flavored, which I'm not mad at. It is dry. It's good. It's not like, whoa, wow. But it's good. Mm. I want to eat more, so I'm gonna give it like I think I'll give it four out of five K pop stars. It's actually pretty good. This is not from Snack Rate, but I needed a drink. I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> okay, next we do this. Peach. Peach what? This just looks like this. Seacom Dalcom. <laughs> I know I'm saying that wrong, but that's Seacom Dalcom. A fruit chew with a sweet and sour kick. An addicting candy found all over Korea. Try either grape, peach, strawberry, or lemonade. So it's like a. Oh, they're, in, they're like individual. Hi, hi chews? What is it? Hi chews. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna have a, a belch counter. Okay, there you go. Did I just put the whole thing? Or should I take a bite? The whole thing. Mm hmm. A little sour. Mmm. A lot sour. I'm salivating so much. That's what she said. It's really good though. Oh, it's sweet, but then it's really sour. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's still really good. I'll give it four out of five K pop stars. Okay, the next thing, I have no idea what it is. It comes in a cool little package. I'm really confused. Let's read. Ooh, baked potato sticks. Thin, crunchy sticks flavored with butter and salt to taste like an undeniably delicious baked potato. But you can't stop at one. It's literally, it literally smells like a potato. Like a raw potato. You know how raw potatoes smell? Tell me, tell me this doesn't actually smell like a raw potato. Right? <laughs> a raw potato. Okay, well, it's authentic. Good luck eating raw potato. Yeah. Looks like that's a little stick. I don't think I'm gonna like particularly like be like, oh, this one. So I already taste the salt. Uh. <laughs> that's so crunchy. It's just like. No, it's, it's okay. No. <laughs> it's so <far. laughs> Um, I mean, it's, it's okay. I'll probably eat all of them. So I'll give it like three out of five K-pop stars. Because the next one I'm really excited about because I used to do this with Top Ramen. It's a Pushu Pushu noodle snack. <laughs> Bulgogi flavor. So what you do, step one, open the package, take out the spices and smash the noodles. Step two, sprinkle spices, shake and enjoy. Let's read about it. The uh, Pushu Pushu, don't cook it. That's what it says. A favorite Korean snack involves crunching the noodles 
in the bag and then covering the noodles in the flavoring included, which is what I used to do with Top Ramen all the time. I'm excited. Bulgogi. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Never heard of that. Aren't you supposed to crunch them first? Oh, yeah. Thanks. The bulgogi flavoring. I don't know what that is. Never heard of it. That bulgogi is like something really gross. <laughs> Can we look up what bulgogi is? <laughs> I'm gonna look it up after when I taste it. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Let's get a big chunk. favorite. That's five out of five K-pop stars. That's really good. I'm gonna hope you just go back. <laughs> so I looked up what bulgogi is and it's basically it's literally fire meat is what it is. It's a it's made of thin marinated slices of beef or pork grilled on a barbecue. Thank God it wasn't something really gross. Okay last one. Get to wash it down with peach milk. This is milk is peach, carbonated. How is milk carbonated? Milk is peach, a carbonated milk beverage with hints of juicy peaches, mildly sweet and wildly refreshing. I doubt that. <laughs> Just squirt it all over Jonathan. You don't want to know what that looks like. <laughs> oh, it smells like peach though. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. Cause I don't taste milk, but there's milk in there. It's freaking me out, but it tastes good. Shut up, refrigerator. I'm gonna make a YouTube video. It's actually kind of good, believe it or not. Give it like four out of five K-pop stars. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. A burp. It's a, bur it's a Bruin. Uh. No, that's it. <laughs> well, thank you, Snack Crate, for once again throwing me into your world of really weird sometimes really disgusting, and sometimes pretty good, delicious, not so delicious snacks. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> but in all seriousness, if you like this video, make sure to let me know by pressing that like button, smash it. Also make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know every time I post, which is every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday for The Sims. And as always, I love you guys very much. Stay awesome, stay beautiful.